Mr. Parker here to do a review. This one was sent to me at MVD. It's an R squared film, uh, the same as Four Course Meal and They Must Feed. Uh, this one actually has a lot of similarities with They Must Feed, including a, kind of a big kind of theme and uh, a lot of the same actors and crew. This is Evil Offspring, which was made in, I guess, the summer of 2006. Basically, uh, you get this kind of strange little story. It's a low-budget movie, very low-budget, uh, but, uh, you know, it tried its best. It showed, uh, it tried to deliver on a lot of the goods. Uh, the producer and the vlogs and, you know, stuff like, it's supposed to be shellac -y. it's supposed to be exploitation-like, it's supposed to be silly and just goofy and completely disgusting and ridiculous at the same time. Basically, the film opens up with a couple of uh, baddies, and they have a girl in a trunk, and they plan on raping her. Well, they go through the woods, the woods basically attacks them and kills them. And you think, oh, the woods is protecting her, but then, of course, a big uh, root penis, well, a uh, stick penis, proceeds to rape her, a la Evil Dead, a la maybe even the Guardian. Back off, bitch. I'm riding this little cunt first. All right. Don't open the back door. Save that for me. That's cool. Fucking fag. What the hell is going... What the hell is going... But uh, anyways, that starts off with Evil Offspring. And then we cut to a couple stranded. Uh, and they get stranded on this farm with this uh, nice mom and pop couple, seemingly. But of course, it's more than meets the eye. Uh, this whole film has a lot of more than meets the eye. And uh, they basically kidnap them and are holding them captive for something special. Uh, meanwhile, there's these group of uh, robbers, uh, quartets, and two couples. Basically, you know, the Bonnie and Clyde style. And uh, we see uh, an actor who is in They Must Feed. Uh, the nerdy guy, he plays like a hardened criminal in this one. He does a really good job. I thought he did probably the finest performance. And it was cool and refreshing to see him not play a nerd because I was thinking, you know, he actually played a character completely different and successfully did it. Also, the uh, pop is also in They Must Feed as the guy who originally feeds, feeds the ghouls. So if you're a fan of that movie, you'll like this one for sure. <laughs> Give it with these people. Maybe it's all the inbreeding. They just don't know any better. Listen to me. All we need is some gas for our car. And we'll be on our merry way. Because if you don't have what we need, well, then. I'm just gonna have to shoot that stupid looking face. Clean off your stupid fucking head and splatter it all over that stupid fucking wall. There ain't nothing stupid looking about that wall, you damn idiot. Now, kindly take your gun off of my wife. Wrong, old man. I'm calling the shots here. Not today, Sonny Jim. I can shoot the fuzzy nuts off a chipmunk at a hundred paces with this rifle. And I'm guessing yours are a tad bigger. And essentially what you find out is the mom and pop are feeding criminals and bad people to this evil offspring, which is like a moss, like, wooded 
demon that's created. I would not necessarily call it a demon, but it's an evil offspring of uh, bad people and, uh, I guess, um, nature. Essentially, there was also a mysterious hitchhiker who's trying to save the criminals. And you find out, basically, this is all the characters in the whole story are pawns that are basically in a fight between good and evil. And as one of the ladies says, uh, evil, good and evil, the viciousness that happens in a fight between them is, like, ridiculous. And uh, at the end of the movie, you find out what everyone's purpose was and what their purpose, and the new people's characters, what their purpose is going to be, which is actually really cool at the very end of the movie. I was really, uh, take, I was actually impressed by the very end of the movie. I was like, that is awesome. But uh, throughout the movie, there's some shaky parts. I mean, a couple of gore moments that are cool. The guy's hacking up the guy and feeding him to the, the evil offspring is pretty cool. Some of the acting is a bit uh, iffy sometimes. Some of the actors, like I said, are pretty good. Some are okay. Some are, you know, not that great. Uh, some of the lines, I think, sometimes are they weren't delivered properly. Maybe that's because the actors didn't want to do those lines. But a lot of the actors were fine. Like I said, some were really good. Some were okay. The acting is, is a variety of bad to good. So you get everything in between. And uh, sometimes the actors seemed really good in parts, sometimes it seemed okay. Uh, all in all, I thought it was a pretty decent movie. And uh, for a, a low-budget film, it was 3 out of 5. For a typical, everyday, mainstream movie that a lot of people would put in, I'd probably put it at a 2.5, 2.75 out of 5. Like, I did enjoy it. Uh, it had some moments of uh, coolness. It had uh, some pretty disgusting stuff in there. Uh, it's not too crazy. Like, I mean, it is a lot of uh, exploitive, uh, like themes and stuff like that and issues but it's not uh super gory or super insane or anything like that on camera a, a couple women do get raped by a tree if that is your fancy and um, that might uh push some people over the limits a, pe a, a guy gets hacked up and his arms and legs get chopped off the monster's really cool looking all practical effects no cgi and uh the main criminal is actually pretty cool and uh the idea that this is just a uh, elaborate uh evil good versus evil story and uh everyone's uh purpose comes out at the very end that it's fate. And this DVD has uh, some special features uh, with the producer's log where he talks about the movie and stuff that he likes, has director's commentary and producer's commentary. Uh, it also has behind the scenes footage basically which is a bunch of people coming out of the premiere and say saying what they thought about it. And uh, it also has uh, cast and crew interviews which are cool because uh, they're working on another movie all together again and somebody's just going around there. But, uh, yep, that's the movie Evil Offspring. It's worth a rental or worth a view, if you, especially if you like low-budget cinema. If you're big into low-budget cinema, then check it out. If not, then steer clear of it. But I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was entertaining, and I thought it was pretty decent. And uh, I would definitely watch another one of their movies. But uh, that's Evil Offspring. Uh, I'm Mr. Parker. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs> You see, kid, when Nan and I first got stranded out here, we made our way to this farm. Little did we know that for the next few decades, we'd be the chosen ones, tending to the offspring and maintaining the balance of his master's earthly kingdom. We were just as scared as y'all when we first heard those terrifying growls and screeches. But then we learned that we were needed to serve. And serve we did. Truth be known, I just love it to death. See, what you don't understand is that there is a divine force at work here, and you dumb fuckers are just cogs in the wheel. <laughs> Up until today, you all thought you were big and bad and full of piss. But what you couldn't have known is that you were destined to be here with us. Getting chopped up like this and getting fed to the offspring.